So a year ago, I started grazing animals on other people's property. There's no power, so I'm using a battery powered fencer. And with the sheep, last year, I'd bring them 10 gallons of water and sheep don't require much during the summer. So 10 gallons of water, I'd still be dumping some out at the end of the day. But now that I'm grazing cattle on other people's property without water, I had to come up with a way to get them water and this is what I came up with. Good pressure. I got a water spigot right here outside of the trailer that I can hook my hose up to quick. A quick connect so you back right up. Put your hose on. Turn it on and there you go, you're pumping water. Let me show you what's inside to make this thing go. So inside here, it's pretty simple. I got an IBC tote. It's food grade. Got that filled with water. The water goes through a little filter into this little pump bladder tank that I got off Amazon. It's 200 bucks. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. But it's got a built-in pressure switch. So it shuts off after it builds pressure. We got that hooked up to a deep cell marina battery. I put a faucet right here on the outside so that way I didn't have to open the door and mess with this to unhook it, take it home and fill it full of water. This thing is working wonders for me. Don't have to haul water, you don't have to worry about water. I can fill this up and I'm not sure how long it's going to last me, you know, once we get in the middle of the summer. But you got a few days there, which is nice. So let me go show you what kind of tank we got at the end of this hose. I use this at home and out on all my temporary pastures. So I got a quick connect here to connect the hose up. We're using a Job Megaflow float. These Job floats last a long time and they're full flow. So when a cow drinks, it replaces the water just as fast as they're drinking it which means you're keeping fresh water here in the tub instead of a big vat that you gotta tip over. You're only dumping out about 15 gallons when you go move them every day. So you're not wasting as much water. Disconnect it there. Dump it out, move it to the next spot. So here we are at the next watering location. All we gotta do is plug it in and walk away. There's no waiting for it to fill up while you do something else and forget about it. And I'll show you how much pressure we get when we're running probably 300 to 400 foot of hose out here. Just like that, the cows have nice fresh water, no worries.